Hello there, seekers of a better life. Do you have a burning desire for change but struggle to make it happen? You're in good company. It's a common experience we all share. We dream of becoming better versions of ourselves, of living fuller lives, of creating more for those we care about. Yet, the challenge lies not in the wanting, but in the doing. It's not enough to simply know what we want. The real transformation happens when we roll up our sleeves and get to work. But here's the thing. It's not just a matter of willpower or determination. There's a powerful force within that's often overlooked, yet it holds the keys to our personal growth and achievement. This force is our subconscious mind, the silent partner that shapes our reality, our responses and even our biology. This reminds me of a powerful quote from Buddha, the mind is everything, what you think you become. It's profoundly true. Think of your subconscious mind as the scriptwriter behind the scenes of your life. It's constantly at work, your beliefs and perceptions into actions and behaviours. It's the invisible hand that guides your reactions and decisions, often without your conscious awareness. But here's the exciting part. This means that if we can harness the power of our subconscious mind, we can fundamentally reshape our lives. We can transform our desires into actions and our dreams into realities. So how do we do this? It starts with understanding our self-concept, the core beliefs and perceptions we hold about ourselves. This is the master program of our subconscious mind, and it's what ultimately shapes our reality. If we can upgrade our self-concept, we can unlock a whole new level of personal performance, going from feeling like victims of our circumstances to becoming masters of our destiny. The journey from wanting to doing is not a straight path, nor is it an easy one. It requires introspection, courage, and a willingness to challenge our deepest held beliefs. But the reward's worth it. Because when we tap into the power of our subconscious mind, we unlock the potential within us to create a life that's truly worth living. Your subconscious mind shapes your reality, your responses, and even your biology. So, where do you find the solution? It lies within you. Now that may sound a tad mystical, but it's deeply rooted in science and psychology. The concept we're delving into is self-image, often referred to as the master program of your subconscious mind. It's the mental blueprint that you carry of yourself, painting a picture of who you are, what you're capable of, and what you deserve. Your self-image is like an internal compass, steering your actions, decisions, and reactions. Think of it as an autopilot system. It's so deeply ingrained that we often don't even realize it's there, silently pulling the strings of our lives. But here's the kicker. It's not always accurate. The self-image you hold may not reflect your true potential or capabilities. It's often shaped by past experiences, societal expectations, or even misconceptions. So, how do you break free from invisible cage? By upgrading your self-concept. Yes. Just like a software update, it's time to refresh your self-image. This doesn't mean creating a false or inflated sense of self. It means recognizing your strengths, acknowledging your potential, and embracing your worth. Imagine if you start seeing yourself as capable, deserving, and powerful. How do you think that would impact your decisions and actions? This shift in self-perception can ignite a transformative ripple effect in your life, from your relationships to your career, to your overall well-being. You see, your mind is incredibly powerful. It can either be your greatest ally or your most formidable adversary. The choice, dear listener, is in your hands. It's about realizing that you're not a puppet, helplessly swaying to the whims of your subconscious mind. Instead, you're the puppeteer, holding the strings and directing the show. To truly tap into your potential, you must first believe in it. And as Theodore Roosevelt once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. It starts with reshaping your self-image, upgrading your self-concept. The journey may require patience, persistence and a dash of courage. But remember, the power to change your life lies within you. You're not a prisoner of biology. You are a master of it. Let's talk about beliefs. Often, we carry limiting beliefs without even realizing it. These are the silent saboteurs of our dreams and aspirations, the unseen chains that keep us tethered to mediocrity. They are the whispers that echo in our minds, telling us we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, we're simply not cut out for the greatness we desire. 
But what's fascinating and somewhat terrifying is the power these beliefs wield over our lives. They shape our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our outcomes. Like self-fulfilling prophecies, they confirm their own existence, creating a cycle of limitation that's hard to break. Before we go any further, let's consider the wise words of Wayne Dyer. The only limits you have are the limits you believe. This quote perfectly encapsulates the power of belief in shaping our reality. Now let's bring this into sharper focus with a case study. A group of students were randomly divided into two. One group was told they were exceptionally gifted, while the other was told they were average. In reality, there was no difference in their abilities. Yet over time, the gifted group performed significantly better than the average group. Why? Because their beliefs about their abilities influenced their performance. This is a stark illustration of the power of belief. The students who believed they were gifted pushed themselves harder, persisted longer and ultimately achieved more. Their belief became their reality. But here's the good news. Beliefs, even the limiting ones, are not set in stone. They're not inherent or immutable. They're learned. And anything learned can be unlearned. So how do we begin to unlearn these limiting beliefs? It starts with awareness. Recognizing the limiting beliefs we carry is the first step towards changing them. Then comes questioning. Is the belief true? Is it helpful? Does it serve us? And finally, we replace these limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Instead of, I'm not good enough, it's, I have unique skills and talents. Instead of, I can't do this, it's, I can learn to do this. It's time to challenge and change these limiting beliefs. It's time to break free from the chains of self-doubt and step into the realm of possibility. Because remember, the only limits that truly exist are the ones we set for ourselves. Now it's your turn. As we navigate through this journey of self-discovery, it's essential to realize that the power to change lies within you. It's all about reflecting on your beliefs, questioning them and understanding how they shape your reality. As Oprah Winfrey famously said, the greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. Our beliefs are the software running quietly behind the scenes in our minds. They inform our decisions, shape our actions, and ultimately determine our outcomes. But here's the thing. Not all beliefs serve us well. Some, like the limiting beliefs we discussed earlier, can hold us back from reaching our true potential. This is where the journey of self-discovery comes into play. It's about identifying these limiting beliefs, challenging them, and replacing them with empowering ones. It's about understanding that you have the power to change the narrative, to rewrite the story that your subconscious mind tells you. But where do we initiate this journey? It starts with self-reflection. Take some time to introspect, to explore the innermost depths of your mind. Ask yourself, what beliefs are holding me back? Where did these beliefs originate? Are they serving me or are they hindering my growth? Once you have identified these limiting beliefs, it's time to challenge them. Remember, just because you've held a belief for a long time doesn't make it true. It's just a story you've been telling yourself. The beauty of this journey is that you possess the power to change this narrative. Next, replace these limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Begin telling yourself a new story, one that aligns with the person you aspire to be. This is not about pretending or denying reality. It's about choosing a perspective that empowers you. The journey of self-discovery is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process of evolution, growth and becoming the best version of yourself. It's about realizing that you are not a prisoner of your past. You are the architect of your future. And remember, your self-concept is the key to unlocking your true potential. Embrace this journey, challenge your limiting beliefs and watch as your reality transforms. You have the power to create a life that's truly worth living. Through this journey of self-discovery, you'll realize that you're not just a spectator in life. You're the director. Uh, ready to take charge of your mind? It's a question that carries a world of potential. Imagine being able to rewrite your beliefs, to challenge those thoughts that have held you back, and to unlock a life of boundless possibilities. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. You see, your beliefs are not set in stone. They're malleable, 
changeable and entirely up to you. The journey of personal transformation is not a path walked by the timid. It's a path for the brave, the curious and the seekers of a better life. It's a path that requires courage, determination and the willingness to confront the very core of who you think you are. But here's the good news. You have already taken the first step. By being here, by listening, by opening yourself up the possibility of change, you've already begun the journey. And what a journey it will be. Imagine a life where you're not held back by limiting beliefs, where every is a new opportunity for growth and improvement. Imagine a life where you are in control, where you dictate the terms of your reality, where you are the of your destiny. This isn't a dream, it's a reality that's within your reach. But it's up to you to make it happen. It's up to you to question your beliefs, to challenge your thoughts, and to rewrite the script of your life. This is your call to action. Begin your journey of personal transformation today. Start by identifying one belief that's been holding you back. Challenge it, question it, and then replace it with a belief that empowers you, lifts you up, that propels you forward. Remember, your thoughts create, but it's your actions that bring it to life. So take the leap, embrace the power within you, and watch as your reality transforms. Remember, you're not a victim. You're the master of your destiny. Let's create a life that's truly worth living.